it has been a really nice experience for me because I got to grow as a designer and um, just work with wonderful people and um, to create my logo, our logo design and the poster, I use Illustrator and by talking out with the directors and um, with the help of my friend Matt, we created a cohesive design which portrayed the show. Some of the processes I went through and some of the difficulties I had were um, as opposed to a traditional program, we decided to think more out of the box and we decided to do more of a Google Slides presentation type of format as opposed to a normal paper type program like a leaflet, you know? So we, um, I, or well, I just created a, um, a Google Slides and I put in the bios and we took the pictures and we did something sort of interesting where while it was uh, Google Slides, we um, had it sort of in the format of like a sports website like you'd see for ESPN or Sports Illustrated. And we sort of put little like links to different slides. So if you clicked on a certain part, it would take you to a certain slide. I'd say one of the biggest challenges during this one act was obviously doing it virtually. Because any other show in person, I would have been able to go up to actors and help them with their makeup. And if there was like a specialty makeup, such as old age makeup, I would have been able to do that on actors myself and make it look in, uh, and make it look good in a way that it was pre presentable. But obviously, since I cannot go up to actors and touch their face, I had to you know change the format of how I did things to make it fit our virtual settings. This year has been a lot different than last year because it's a virtual setting instead of uh, in person. So being able to communicate with people and figure out how to incorporate props in a virtual setting has been a little bit more of a challenge. But one of the props that we did get to make was the playbill or playbook that was 20 years old. And the way we did it was by adding a bunch of paper together and stapling it, and then aging it with tea. And one of the strengths of that was making uneven marks to make it more realistic about the aging. Well, this show has been very different compared to shows I've done in the past. Um, and I think it's been a challenge, but it's definitely been an interesting experience. Where like in a normal show you would see an actor head to toe, full costume. Whereas in this show you're seeing mostly like the upper body, so like the main costume pieces have to come from that portion. So that has definitely been challenging, but it's definitely been interesting to work on. Go ahead. <laughs> so with costumes, with our strengths, there's so much to do with this show since there's so many sports and things that are referenced. So it's really fun to like dabble into what we can do and go out of the comfort zone and really just like make it come alive on the screen. Um, because it's like we're in a pandemic and we're virtual, we can't have like these big um, crews that we normally have and so we do have a lot of empty spaces and I've been filling those spaces um, like for props and finding backgrounds for our actors and helping with tech and such. This one act, I've had to go through some different experiences from the past, but basically my sound design helps to transition everything from scene to scene, which is vital in this show when everything's changing so quickly. But this year, some extra challenges were figuring out how to actually play the sounds over the actors and not mute them out. And also just the fact that they can't hear what I'm playing, so I have to tell them what's gonna happen and just trust that they leave enough enough um, space between their lines so that the music can actually play. Um, challenges we faced were with energy in terms of getting the actors to up the energy, which worked really well in person, but was harder on camera. But the more we practiced on camera, the better the energy got and the more comfortable the actors got with acting on the screen. Um, some of the feedback that we got from the judges was limiting our movements and we really learned to use our voices as a way of acting 
instead of our bodies to not disturb the green screen behind us and to really embrace being a news reporter. Um, and that's been a challenge for us, but I think we've done a really good job so far just using our voices um, to convey what we mean rather than our bodies. Um, the process that I went through for taking part of one act has been a roller coaster. This is my very first time ever being stage manager, and it's been twice as complicated considering that I'm new to this position and new to doing a virtual show. So I've definitely had to learn how to piggyback towards other people guiding me towards how to be a proper stage manager. Um, I haven't necessarily have gotten the full experience of being a stage manager. For instance, um, I'm no longer calling the show on the lights and the sounds. I'm more so calling the show based on the backgrounds that we have. But you know, still very beneficial because you know a stage manager has to call the show. Uh, well, normally in previous one acts, I was a uh, uh, set constructor or set director, and uh, normally there, I think it was really helpful having everybody coming together in the shop and building things. But with this, uh, it was mostly just me on my own working through um, the operating system online, just trying to uh, put everything together for everybody. Some of the processes that I personally went through as to a technical director to make this show possible was really communicating with um, a lot of the different heads and not only providing ideas, but listening to ideas of the people around me. Um, it's definitely been really, really different because we've never really done an online show. We've done online rehearsals and sure, that's all fine. But doing a show completely online over Zoom and now over a system called OBS, um, it's been a real challenge. And I think one of the greatest things that have come with doing the show is the learning process. Learning how to do these things online and how um, to make these things better. Um, especially after regionals and districts, the feedback we got um, a lot of it pertained to tech and how much, how good it would look on stage and we decided to take that feedback and then, you know, make it into something that we can really hone in on for an online show, which I think is really, really special.